So this is the update of my South Carolina Reaper Pepper. And they are all so red right now. They look so beautiful. So they got a lot of fruits right here. So this is the hottest paper in the whole world. So I don't know how to use this because it's real, real hot. It's like 100 times hotter than regular paper. So right now I'm trying to figure out how we can use this because this is so hot, really hot. So it's so beautiful. So this is already six months we grow this one. And we have to grow more for next year. So right now, I am saving some seeds in the house. I'm uh, harvesting some of it and saving the seeds. And here's another one. Uh, it's still not ready yet. It's still uh, not ripe. So they have a lot of fruits. And here's another one right here. Very beautiful and very hot. So here's another one right here. So I got one, two, three, three plants, and I'll have to look around here. There's another one right here. Here's another one. So right now I have like this is number four four plant then here's another one right here oh look at this wow very beautiful plant and got a lot of got a lot of fruits and this is already ripe so beautiful wow so every day i always keep uh coming here and enjoying watching while they're growing it because it's like very nice to your eyes very beautiful and right now right here my papaya it's already ripe look at that so i supposed to have a lot of papaya three days ago already ripe but one of my friends came over and they want some papaya so I just gave it to them so I'll have to plant more papayas a lot of people just coming in our area and once they saw some of our plant they asked so we just gave it so that's the most important I'm happy once they're happy that I gave them some of the plant so this is the neem tree uh, we planted a lot of neem tree so this neem tree a lot of fruits also so right there very beautiful and this is good for the plant and the leaves for this this is i'm using for uh bug repellent for the plant so this is good And here, this one, this kind of paper is very sickly. So, um, probably need water. But we have to water them every day. Because we, uh, sometimes it's hard to put them water. Very busy. So and I'll have to walk around here. There's another tomato right here. We planted different area of the tomato so that we'll know which part, uh, which area it's better to plant uh, wild tomatoes. 
So right here, they're so beautiful. And right here. Yep, thank you for watching. This is the update of our wild tomatoes. So far looks so good. So please don't forget like and subscribe for more updates of my videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.